Uh, we want to start tonight's show by looking back for a moment, back to July 27th, 1974, which was an inflection point in our country's history. It was on that day the House Judiciary Committee recommended that America's 37th president, Richard Nixon, be impeached and removed from office. Six Republicans joined 21 Democrats in sending that first article of impeachment against the president, which accused him of obstructing justice to the full House. And now, 49 years later, to the day, another former president has found himself accused of the very same charge again. On Thursday, Donald Trump was hit with new counts in special counsel Jack Smith's classified documents case. In a bombshell superseding indictment, the ex-president was charged with an additional count of willful retention of national defense information and two new counts of obstruction. So with these new charges, Trump now faces a staggering total of 40 criminal counts in that case, the most serious of which could land him in, in prison for up to 20 years. Now, in that superseding indictment, prosecutors have accused Trump, along with his co-conspirator, Walt Nauta, uh, and a new third defendant, Carlos de Oliveira, a Mar-a-Lago maintenance worker of attempting to delete surveillance video from the resort last summer. Now, coincidentally, just after Trump's lawyers received a grand jury subpoena request for that footage. According to the indictment on June 27, 2022, after some phone tag between Trump, Nauda, and De Oliveira, De Oliveira walked to the IT office at Mar-a-Lago and requested that he and an unnamed Trump employee, the resort's director of IT, could talk. Well, the two men then went inside a closet and that's when De Oliveira told the employee that their conversation should, quote, remain between the two of them. De Oliveira then asked the employee how many days the resort servers retained footage, to which the employee responded that he believed it was approximately 45 days, give or take. And then, in a move, honestly, straight out of a mobster movie, De Oliveira told the employee that, quote, the boss wanted the server deleted. When the employee raised concerns that he would not know how to do that and that he did not believe that he would have the rights to do so, De Oliveira repeated that, quote, the boss wanted the server deleted and asked, what are we going to do? Now, it's still not entirely clear what happened after that conversation and honestly, even if the footage was ultimately deleted. But with this indictment, the federal government has now accused Donald Trump, a former president, of seeking to destroy possibly incriminating evidence against him. Which brings us back to that Nixon comparison, because Nixon wasn't only just accused of obstructing justice. In fact, he was also accused of destroying evidence as part of that cover-up during the Watergate scandal. And during that investigation, it was discovered that Nixon had a habit of recording conversations in the White House. And those recordings were later subpoenaed by a special prosecutor, after which investigators noticed an 18 and a half minute gap in one of those tapes. Now, while Nixon's personal secretary claimed to have accidentally erased the missing minutes, which are believed to contain a conversation between Nixon and his chief of staff just three days after the Watergate break-in, many suspected it was the president himself who ordered its destruction. But that's where Trump's parallel to the other disgraced ex-president ends, because on August 8, 1974, just 12 days after the House recommended those first articles of impeachment, Richard Nixon, faced with the overwhelming evidence against him and eroding support within his own party, he resigned. Now, Donald Trump isn't ready to give up. He's not going anywhere. Here he is just yesterday, doubling down on his commitment to retake the White House, no matter what may stand in his way. If, if, going forward, right, you get these indictments, th there ends up, you got a jury in D.C., you get convicted and sentenced. Does that stop your campaign for president, if you're sentenced? Uh, not, not at all. Uh, there's nothing in the Constitution to say that it could, and not at all. And uh, even the radical left crazies are saying, no, that wouldn't stop. Uh, and it wouldn't stop me either. Not at all. 
Now, as more details continue to emerge about the sheer scope of Donald Trump's alleged criminality and the possible, uh, the possible cover-up that followed, it is becoming clear that he is in a league of his own. Donald Trump isn't just another Richard Nixon. He's Nixon on steroids.